Hello, good evening. Welcome to another stream of X-Wing from the XTC 2021 here on the X-Wing SHG channel. My name is Daniel, aka Scumdan, and with me again, co-hosting my very good friend Matze, aka Set Toaster. Hello. Hello again, and this time I am on time. <laughs> Novelty for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Absolutely. Um, are you sweating as much as I am? Yeah. The good thing I, is... I, I mean, when I uh, came back from school, I'm a teacher as you are, uh, I hopped straight into our pool that we set up like a couple of days ago. Oh, you got a pool? <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, we got one in 2019 and last year when prices went up so much, like quadrupled or... Uh, five times price. We were we were having one, and we're very happy about it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have a pool, but uh, last week we got a new refrigerator, um, and it makes uh, ice cubes and crushed ice. That is amazing. You can just put your your cup or your glass under it, uh, push a button, and then you get fresh ice. That's awesome. Ah, I, so I'm uh, creating ice cubes the old-fashioned way with a tray. Ah, you peasant. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look what we have uh, today. So we have, again, round three of the XTC 2021, the X-Wing Team Championship with Germany versus South Africa. We have Jan Esse playing First Order for Germany. He's playing... Uh, um, Semi-Melorus Swarm, so he has four Epsilon Squadron Cadets with Commander Melorus. No Agent Terex on him, but he has Major Von Reck accompanying uh, Melorus and his Swarm. And Charlie is playing... Oh, wait a second, I put the logo there. So, and he's playing some Resistance Salad, if you so will. He's playing three Red Squadron Experts with Heroic on Asphalt. Uh, Rostico with C3PO and Zari Bengal with Threat Tracers. What do you think of the lists? On the German side, for First Order, we have a typical derivative of the Metaverse Swarm, as you already pointed out. There are three to four types, depending if you count the silencers. So there is six Epsilon Squadron Cadets, the I1. IFOs and Melorus. There is four Melorus and Vonrek, which we have here in front of us today. There is three Melorus and Kylo, and what? there is three I1 silencers and also Melorus. They all have around about the same game pl plan stick a ball and try to kill your opponent as fast as possible, yeah. front loaded damage, typical way of a swarm uh, i really like this swarm because you have the one ace to do ac stuff and uh, get around the sides and maybe get some support ships in the back line or whatever yeah and open a second uh, avenue of attack and you have enough firepower with four uh cadets fo's that you they present an enormous threat to most lists. And yeah, on the other side, we have uh, the resistance beef, which consists of a combination of three T70s and rows with C3PO as a core. And then and, uh, most of the time a fifth strip, which can be thin which can be Merle in the uh, A-Wing or which is, has gotten popular for for a couple of weeks is Zari Bengal because then you have all I-3s mm -hmm. and Zari can block against higher initiative pilots or is unblockable basically against lower initiative pilots and the threat tracers on Zari uh, give you the double mods to overpower you, your offense. The C-3PO on, on Rose is to be pointed out. Yeah. Because... Uh, See him on Rose, her a lot. 
It's a very good tech. She has all, re all the rerolls she needs and either gets double calculate or a coordinate and calculate. So you have even more action efficiency in your swarm and uh, can present large threats this way. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you think uh, if you just compare the, li the lists against each other? Uh, is there one list where you think, okay, just when you speak of the list, uh, one has the upper hand over the other? Uh, I don't think so. So direct jousting is probably going the way of the resistance lists, I think. Uh, because you have so many red dice and the double mods all around that you can easily melt Melorus in probably one or two turns. And then the FOs lose a lot of their threat level. Mm -hmm. And one wreck cannot finish such a beefy list alone. So uh, our cornerback, our Jan Esse from Team Germany has to get the timing right to maybe distract one or two ships with uh, one wreck or get rows uh, in the back of the formation with one wreck yeah. while hammering uh, or disrupting from the front with the uh, cadets and also he's i1 uh, with the cadets so that means that he can block can easily block with how maneuverable they are but also he can be initiative killed another advantage he has is that the rerolls gain you a strain mm -hmm. and uh, if you shoot only at i1 you're not getting shot by i3s after you get the strain yeah and the fo's have so many blows that yeah, you, you, you can, can you can I... get rid of the strain so there's basically no downside here yeah absolutely um, i mean you have to to uh, re-roll and take the strain it's not a may uh but like you said before the uh, fo's are absolutely fine with that um just uh most of the viewers might know that um but one or two things about the players so we have like a top-notch game today this is going to be an absolute banger um we have jan esse he is the winner of the uh, Delta Qualifier Gold Squadron podcast uh, tournament. And uh, Charlie is uh, the, the winner of the uh, GSP Galaxies tournament. So uh, two absolutely experienced and really, really, really good players here. So this probably is going to be a really good get, good match here. And with, uh, uh, in my opinion, evenly matched lists. Yes. Group. Yeah. So it's very uh, interesting. Uh, we see that uh, Jan is putting his was putting a t his ties first and putting them at the bottom of the board. Then uh, Charlie set up at the top, and now there is Madarus and Bonrek still to be placed. Uh, I think it's clear that uh, Metaverse has to be placed near the FOs, probably yeah. facing the bottom of the board to uh, hard turn. Yeah, and get behind, behind them. Swarm, yeah. And then one wreck wants to be at the opposite side, but this is uh, kind of countered by, by Charlie setting up at the top and having a straight jousting lane. So maybe he will also set him up off the board, go diagonal with the FOs or try to uh, fly up his own edge off the board with the FOs and get the other way around with one wreck. Yeah, it's, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting because... Um... Uh, he set up the ties, so Jan set up the ties first, um, and if if I would compare the list, so if it would go for straight jousting, wouldn't you think that the initiative three axe wings uh, accompanied by Rose and Zari um, would be in favor if they would just go for the joust? For the straight joust, definitely. 
but uh, I mean, Jan should be experienced enough to not do that. Now, I was just wondering why uh, then Charlie did not put his uh, ex or his squad just straight opposite of the tie of O's. Because this way he takes the easy flanking ability from one wreck. Ah, okay, yeah. And he has to protect Rose and Zari so that Zari can get off at least one, if not two shots of the tracers. And yeah. uh, Rose can get all the uh, double actions with coordinate and calculate. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing, uh, because I see it in the chat, uh, in the chat uh, first of all, uh, hello everyone, I didn't uh, say hello to first. Um, so I see what the, uh, Marcel, Marcel Manzano is asking, what's the team scores in the round? Ili is saying 2-1 for Germany. I just took a look at the challenge. Um, maybe the challenge is not correct, but it says it's three wins for Germany. Um... Maybe there was game played already today. Could, also, could hello be. to Marcel. You still owe me a game where you cheated me with uh, your your uh, your Fiel Santos. <laughs> <laughs> if you remember, uh, because uh, it's a nice anecdote. This is a the Tri Fighters, and they were not new, but I have not never played against them, and Marcel has never played them. Uh, himself and when he uh, was after the draft which ESP did where they drafted pilots he played them against me and we both didn't notice that the condition is unique so he put the condition on onto all of my ships or three of my ships and yeah totally wrecked me <laughs> with this <laughs> uh, uh, according to the rules it would have been one but hey it's all fun and games, so no hard feelings. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm still not sure now uh, what the correct score is, if Germany is already at three wins, which would mean that this could be like a, a round deciding game. If Jan is going to win and getting the four wins for Germany, that would be uh, the round win against South Africa. Um, yeah, but again, uh, I know that there had been a mistake on challenge before, so I won't be like hundred percent sure if that is correct. So take it with the with the how do you say it? Ohne Gewehr, <laughs> with a grain of salt, if you so will. Yeah. <laughs> So, can, time has started. Can you, can you see uh, when the last uh, result was put in? Mm, no. I don't really... I know. only see, like, the, the match history. And there's three W's for Germany. And for South Africa, it was... It's loss, loss, win. Okay, so. but there are more people in the chat saying it's 2-1 uh, to Germany, two games tonight happening now, and two games tomorrow. Okay. Challenge is strong, 2-1. Maybe I'm just too stupid to read the challenge. Let me show you and, and, and tell me uh, what's happening here. There was the Chewy Roar. <laughs> but just for you, so we can hear it again. Here's one for you again. Okay, we see uh, Jan turning into his own uh, side of the board uh, to create the space for Von Rick to flank. And Charlie banking in to use the Channel they created on turn zero uh, above the line of asteroids. I mean, and they all brought small ones, mm -hmm. but uh, they are still there. <laughs> they have to be taken into account. So, Timo won yesterday and Funwalk lost. Funwalk lost again, that scrub. So, uh, again, explain, explain this challenge to me. So there is three Germany, 
match history? No, I have a look. Uh, yeah. I have uh, used it for some other tr uh, systems, never for X-Wing. But maybe I can help. So maybe I'm just too stupid to read that correctly. Ah, it's, it's a complicated map. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, Groupie, Germany. Ah, you cannot open this if you're not... Oh! You could click on the W's to see what's, what's, okay, uh, what if... time it is, but it does close automatically for me. Ah, uh, okay, I have to go on, on the matches, and then I can see the scores. Where is South um, Africa, Germany? Round three, uh, it's... Uh, Iceland, Germany? What? That's not correct. We are in round three, right? <laughs> New Zealand. This is this is very confusing to me because yeah. there is no Germany, South Africa. I'm just going to show you because so you don't think I'm that stupid. I mean, I am not the smartest one, but this is clearly round three. It says Iceland, Germany. So. Yeah, so that's also a bad thing about stream delay. So now I have to wait until uh, they hear what I'm saying right now. Anyway, let's get back to the game. So uh, we even had we had here Master Blaster Bina. He's the team captain of Team Germany, and he said, uh, "Where is his message? Uh, where are you? Where is Master Blaster?" Uh, Yeah, 2-1 two, one, two, one Germany. So, and he should know. A 2-0? Two, and oh? two, two and 1, yeah. So I thought there had been more matches already, but... Okay. Anyway, uh, the good thing is that uh, we have a match where nothing is decided yet. So, which is good. So, uh... However, this match turns out is going to have an impact for this round, which is cool. So it's not like uh, one of the teams is already 4-0. Uh, and this is more like a game for tie breakings, on, uh, but more more a game of, of uh, yeah crucial decisions for the round. Uh, round four, round weird. five, round yeah, seven. I, this challenge is... I don't get it, man. No, the rounds are scrambled, which yeah, is fine. So, so now it's round it's... six. Round six says Germany, South Africa. But why round six? Why round six? No, they are, they are scrambled because we are playing round robin. Uh, now, when you if you hover it uh, in round six, uh, you see Germany, South Africa. Yeah, I see, I just... we won the first two, two uh, matches and lost the third one. Which was fun walk. He lost by forty six points. Yeah, now it makes sense. Okay, now I got it. Still, I mean, it very confusing in my opinion. The rounds mean nothing. The rounds are just yeah, like to give a structure and the. Uh, yeah, so now we got it straight here. Real rounds are then communicated to the captains, and they can it into it so it's just a collection of of results not of the timing so uh we got a couple of people from team germany and team south africa in the chat here uh, i think i also saw the team coach lee that we had as a co-host uh, on tuesday Link 77 is here. He is playing Bene tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Uh, 
Uh, ah, okay. And, and Marcel just provided us with the link to the TTT overview of the XTC. Thank you very much. There it's. Yeah, now it makes sense. So, uh, maybe we should start concentrating on the match right now. Yeah. Uh, because... because we... is the what start, yeah. Yeah, so we get into the first round of shooting here. Um, everyone has moved so far, uh, except for Von Reck. It's Yeah. And uh, no matter matter us. we are, I think, at Zari's actions right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zari is uh, looking for actions, boosting in, taking the focus to fire her first round of strip tracers, and then Rose moving after, looking for the first coordinate here. Yeah, which probably will. Yeah, get the back two X wings. Threat tracers are so good. I mean, uh, you, you can spend anything, so you have to have uh, focus, calculate, or target lock to spend the charge for the threat tracers. And uh, with so being so cheap, uh, probably one of the cards in maybe now late summer, early fall. We don't know yet. AMG had a little bit of mixed up and confusing uh, information given out through uh, Twitch chat, I think it was. Uh, so, but then not be not before, like late summer, we will see a points change, uh, maybe even a little bit later. But I could imagine that the threat traces are one of the cards which will go up in points. Along with uh, them, at least the crew. Mm-hmm. All right, and Dig Digris75 in the chat, uh, the South African captain, hello. So the captain's watching their players, seeing if they're going to screw up anyhow. <laughs> And captains, don't forget to give your players some advice. Just call them during the game and, and phone them and whatever. <laughs> uh, and then tell them what they have to do right now. So they can go nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, they could be like the, the American football coaches with like a headset on. Uh, you're an American football player, right? So... Yeah, um, the, the headset, who is he talking to? Because the players don't have a headset. No, no. Um, the quarterback has one. Oh, uh, okay. The, the helmet. And uh, there are also uh, coaches in the stands, in the booth at the top that can look at video and uh, stuff. And they give uh, advice on when to challenge ah, a, a okay. play or have the big overview from the top down. So we got the first shot, Malarus on Zari, one hit. Uh, reroll for only one. Yeah, Malarus has to take the strain and the reroll for himself as well. Uh, Zari dodged this. Okay, so I didn't. I didn't know that they had like uh, that. The quarterback had a uh, like uh, a headset in his helmet as well. So that makes sense. So, uh, there will be some more shots, I guess, from Red FO. Let's see if Yellow and might have a shot as well. So, first it's Zari. Probably goes for Melorus here, right? Who is strained. Has no action. Yeah, Melorus has to be the first target here. Yeah. Take out the rerolls. Uh, makes the entire of range or. All other ships, so I don't know if he's. Let me reread the traces again. Yeah, they have to be range three of the defender, and when Melorus checked his arc, 
There was only Zari in it, which is very good uh, positioning for Jan here. Protecting Melorus from the heavy hitting X Wings. And he shot at, uh, at the lead X Wing, so the mo uh, mo most of the no, he shot at the lead tie, so most of the X Wing can get the target lock, mm -hmm. but it's only one uh, because the other two are out of range, barely. Yeah. So, uh, positioning advantage by a hair here for Jan. He can focus fire and fire, I believe, with all except the blue tie on on the same target, which mm -hmm. is probably going... Zari, probably, I guess. I don't know. It's all range three shots. I mean, you are expected to have two hits with uh, these shots, but he is rolling four dice against it. Yeah. They are naked, but... Uh, yeah. You, if you have three, it all depends on who blue can shoot it. I think if blue is the first target, you will check. So this shot did no damage as well. Yep, yep. So, so far, nobody got hurt. So let's find out what the rest of the shots will do. Blue, no targets. Now green is the question. Green target. Ah, barely not. Okay. So blue is out as well. No. So... so... Yellow and red can both shoot either yellow X-Wing or Zari, and then he goes for the X-Wing because less defense die and you have to do the damage anyway. So might as well against less dice. So. Oh, natural two hits here. And take some both. Yeah, very, very good start. And with Zarya also being down on one of the tracers, uh, there is only a second shot coming and you cannot kill her this round, so you might as well just lay into the, the X-Wings. Try to strip shot some shields or even go into high. No, just the shields. No. Rolls one evade, so only taking one and shields gone. Um, yeah, the FO is now in a good position to block. And Melorus getting in the flank. Von Rex, the red tiny guy. <laughs> what did I say? Melorus. Melorus is uh, the Von Rex, of course. Uh, but will be the. Focus fire target for Charlie, I think, in the second round because he gives at least half of the offense of Jan's list with, with the rerolls. Uh, so let's see if, if my assumption is correct. Mm -hmm. I have not played the lists on a high level, just a bit on fly casual. So, what, uh, what do I know? Yeah, I've only flown uh, the Melorus plus three um, Thai silences before. Which I think they're also a pretty solid list, but a little bit different to fly, I guess, in this yeah. list. Because with the silences you have the option of the or you more readily can use the Melorus coordinate to do an action and then reposition afterwards with the eyes one side and us so you have two ships that can move a bit at i5 yeah uh so as every game uh again i'm asking uh, everybody in twitch chat uh, where you are from uh of course i've seen some people from germany people from south africa uh, where's the rest from our, uh, at the moment, 54 viewers coming from? I was interested in that uh, because, like I say, every time the hype and the interest in the XCC around the X-Wing scenes around the globe is, uh, seems to be pretty, pretty high. We've got lots and lots of streams going on, lots of people watching. 
uh, in the last couple of streams that we had, we always had like 80 to almost 120 viewers watching the games here. And it's always great fun and it's great to see like everyone from, from all the different countries to see and watch the games. That's pretty amazing. So we got an update from Dodo here. Uh, Django Zam versus the Six Baron match looks good for South Africa. So um, yeah, Sasha Wagner playing the Six Barons. In our game here, not nothing is decided yet. So yeah, there's a minimal lead for Jan, I think, with three shields to no damage. Yeah, no but points. The, the resistance is so beefy; uh, it's just a very minimal lead. Yeah. And uh, now we have to see how the blocks go, how the maneuvering goes, if Van Rick can maybe catch out one of the uh, resistance ships probably preferably rose but focus fire is very important here and one time i'd die this turn to the focus fire from the x-wings mm -hmm. which you have to remember is an initiative kill the red setting up for the short maneuver blocks. And now blue probably trying to block the 4Ks. Looks good so far. Mm -hmm. Melorus might even get an action this turn, depending on where he goes. But the gun is more important than the action, I think. Yeah, probably. Want to focus fire, want to have as many shots as possible. And what um, Melorus has to. Statistically, he has to survive the round. Uh, yeah, if, he, if uh, with the blocks uh, he can deny uh, Charlie Ship some, some actions, there's a good chance that, that Melorus will come out of this round um, with some scratches, probably, but uh, not taken down. Now we see Sari's power. She is moving in, getting blocked, still getting her actions. Uh, and now barrel roll. And maybe boost. I mean, the A-wing dial is so low, you can always double action more or less. Yeah, or just take the focus. I mean, you will not get a shot from the tie FOs, seems like. Yeah, maybe from blue. Are... He already uh, started with the barrel roll, and you cannot take any second action. The second action has to be a boost ah, or a okay. rotate. Yeah, you're right. So and there we see uh, people riding in the jet where everyone's from. So we see USA, Sweden, Kapstadt and Cape Town, originally from Liverpool, uh, Germany, this of course. An interesting move here. Rose came in, coordinated yellow. Yellow then performed a boost to the right and 4K, so that 4K uh, was not blocked anymore. Yeah, very smart very move here. And the other two, then two X Wings, then had the space to uh, do uh, one straight and still have their action, so no actions denied here in the first turn of blocks and Malorus also clears his move very close but like I said no action denied which is advantage for Charlie I would say now you could try uh, to initiative kill one of the type O's before they can shoot give him some points so let's see, Von Rack. Yeah, good position. Might just stay there. 
or barrel roll for a better position for next turn to get in between he, like the not this... getting shot no so you probably take the target lock for a strain and then focus a... as a regular action okay. for a double modified yeah question is who are you shooting and i think green is unobstructed yellow is out of the way yellow was the uh, X-Wing that lost three shields, but he is... Yeah, I think you go for green because you have like all shots then on green. Yeah, and uh, with, uh, also with the minimal average range pony on the defensive side. So Yeah. So there is a Von Rex shot coming in onto green T-70. Okay. Very good start. Yeah. Uh, Spends so the lock. The uh, for nothing. But Roy. green also rolls nothing, but has heroic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a playful thing, turning them both yeah. <laughs> to evade. At least because... worked for one. Uh, indicating, yeah. Uh, yeah, you always uh, roll double R as quick as after a double blank. So we got Nalaros now getting a shot onto green. Do we spend the focus here is the question? Or do we want to keep it for defense? You don't have to roll a strain, uh, 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 take a strain. Right because uh, there was no blank spends it for two Aggressive oh wow and did not pay off it's it's probably uh you trade one damage for one damage yeah uh in on average by spending oh good roll from rose here hit crit and oh has to spend the focus and even takes the the shield oh that was a bad roll here so red losing his shield Three blanks and a focus. That's not what you want to see when you roll four green dice. It's definitely not. No. So next shot on to red tie FO. Four shots coming in now. Uh, four hits. Oh, wow. <sighs> Spends the focus for three hits and a crit. This might be a dead tie FO. Uh, yeah. Poof goes the first one. First points for Charlie here. About with initiative killing, now there are two two uh, dice of the board. There's a body of the board. For uh, not a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. The Republic. And the range one shot on green uh, is not is not going to be uh, a thing now. So red. Tie FO should be removed because it got yeah, initiative kill. Yeah, all initiative three. It stays until the end of shooting from the resistance side. The... Oh, okay, yeah. So it's uh, the correct way of playing. I mean, on the tabletop, you're probably taking away to the signal. Yeah, he's gone. But oh yeah, you're right. So initiative three is know. not finished. It's, yeah, it's correct what they're doing in which there's such a high level of play. What else do you expect? <laughs> so, question is, can he kill one more? That would be huge for Charlie here. This time only one hit. Um, what happened there? I am not 
not sure. Ah, he was still playing around with the dice on Heroic. Ah, okay. So, nothing happened, Heroic triggered, he got uh, a crit. Now it's oh, now it's time for Jan to shoot back and hopefully remove green if he can trade one for one. That would be good for Jan here. He is advantaged, yeah, but I don't expect it to be. Oh, good what? start, good start. Takes Moving two more. Here. One more X-wing with shields down. Two more Three, shots coming two. in. Lay into green here. Oh, red dice on both sides. Very hot. Green dice, not so much. Takes one. And one more shot to go. I mean, not killing the X Wing here, but maybe making it that he has to run away or be killed by one wreck. Okay, this time he's safe. I will squiggle it against nope. the... Uh, th that was important, be important because there was a crit involved. And we know that crits can decide games. Maybe not on a, on a generic ship so much, but usually usually they, they always tend to hurt a lot. So, uh, we're back to Dals now. Um, what kind of K-turns do the TIFOs have? Let me check. They have a 4K. Um, okay, so green cannot K-turn. You could try to do a sloop, but uh, that should be blocked uh, on the right side as well as on the left side for green. Do you think the 4K will fit for yellow over the red T70? Uh, Might not, right? Oh, no. 4K is the only 4K that will cl probably clear is blues. No, not even that. Let me check again. Other angle. It's very close with how he's aligned. No, I don't think. Bloom, blue might fit, but the others won't uh, I mean blue, blue could do like a sloop they have like a yeah. two sloop that would two sloop to the right would give him a good position yeah to fire into the field where the x-wings have to move I mean green could also do a hard one try to get on Zari or the yellow x-wing or maybe red if he goes fast uh block Not green sure if yellow can do a two sloop to the left probably uh, what about the rock? Between, I'm Might more afraid the of, rock. Of, hitting, of hitting red. I'm not afraid of the rock so much as as of red. No, I, I don't think uh, you hit uh, with the two bank sloop to the left that you hit red. Uh, I, I I would be more afraid of the rock in this case. Well, we're about to find out. In the casual game, I would just punch it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but probably on this level, I would be too afraid to do it. So uh, we get some more information from South African team captain Digris in the chat. Uh, Peter for South Africa, 50 zero up so far one baron dead for sasha team germany uh one on one hull and still only one shield taken off of django Ooh. so look at, not looking that good usually the the matchup six barons versus two, two fire stra uh, sprays i'd say is quite a good matchup for the barons here uh but we all know what these fire sprays are capable of especially in the hands of a, 
uh, of an experienced player. So what do you do with Vonrek here? Uh, do you turn to the right with the hard one? Uh, do the safe maneuver? Or do you want to get into the action right now? I think you have to, at this critical point, you have to keep guns on target. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me check again. If I remember correctly, the one bank is not blue. But I am not sure. Not flown them. In. I've flown him a lot, but not in a while. <laughs> Okay, you know, the one bank is blue, so if you one bank, you cannot barrel to the top of the board because of the asteroid. This is a loop. No. One bank might be got here, actually, because uh, you probably take one shot that's uh, a danger to you, which is from yellow, but Charlie cannot afford to split the fire. Rose shot is probably going through an obstacle at this point, and all the others should not have guns on target. Yeah, I think one bank is uh, an interesting move to the left, but we will see. That's what, why they are the players, and we are just yeah. Our mouth. <laughs> especially, especially for me, um, I am really, really not good uh, with with too many ships. Flying more than three ships is absolutely horrific for me. I always don't know where to put my ships. Uh, I usually get like a first good engagement, but after that, it's just like a huge cluster. And uh, everyone is bumping, and I don't know where to put uh, which ship. And yeah, uh, um, do you have like a, like a preference in in uh, amount of ships? Oh, I like three to four. So, but this is what I can do with my factions, which are Republic and First Order. Yeah, which I'm playing most. Playing most. Uh, Republic can only field three to four ships, and uh, I mean, like Sinker Swarm, there uh, you had like a little bit more ships. Yeah, but this was like 2019. Maybe. <laughs> it's an old hat. I mean, I played it in. I don't know where, where did I play it. I think it was also Salzgitter, the the con there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember, there I played a single swarm with two arcs and four returns. But it's it's not good in the current major meta and has been a bit. A lot, seen a lot of points increase yeah. uh, in the list. I think the list is not playable anymore. Yeah, not working in, in like it used to be. And also, there are too many different options, which are just better. I mean, look at 7-6. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's just on a whole other plane of existence. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what about you guys in, in Twitch chat? What about the viewers? Uh, do you have, like, uh, you probably all have, like, lists that you like to fly most or, or factions that you prefer. Do you have also, like, an amount of ships that you uh, prefer. Uh, I myself, I uh, prefer two to three ships. That is that is my comfort zone. Um, at the moment, I'm flying uh, Kanan in the in the Hawk with Zem Wessel, Thoughts Transponder Codes, Thermal Detonators, uh, Engine Upgrade, and uh, Fen Rao and Altarok both with Fearless, and it's so much fun. And Kanan works so well with Fen Rao. It's just amazing. It sounds really interesting, but I don't know. I, I never played Fen Rao before, but for me, it's it's very hit or miss. Oh, it I absolutely is. Oh, Fen Rao is an absolute diva. Die by the dice. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Fen is always a gamble. He can be like an absolute monster and kill like half of your opponent's list, or he could die in like a single turn. So he usually um, he doesn't allow uh, any mistakes, and that's why Kanan is so good. Um, so if you end up in like a bad spot for Fen, I uh, getting that that range two shot uh, that you usually want to avoid. Kanan just says, okay, you have to fly him correctly, of course, and. Um, Keep your mobile arc on on, on fan, for example, uh, and just say like, "Hey, I spent a force. You're not shooting with three dice on my fan. You're just shooting with two, and then you have a much higher chance uh, to to survive those mistakes that you might make during uh, during a game." We have movement here. Uh, Jan opted to not perform any red moves here uh, to get the actions. Uh, moved in y yellow just into a blocking position and uh, to, to do a red move or a hard turn next turn again. Mm -hmm. uh, probably to also create space for Malorus and, and Vonrek to move in. Mostly Malorus. But this is getting dangerous. He, uh, Charlie's also having a lot of actions here. So looking for uh, coordinating again, seems like. Prime target coordinate is green. Green is under fire. Probably a threat from one wreck and Malorus, which might initiative kill him if he bumps here into yellow. Uh, otherwise, if he has a two straight. Okay, this tells me he is probably bumping with green. No, green is 4k. Oh, and Bot wants to have that sweet, sweet Mott there. So that's why you coordinated him. Or just in case if the, the 4k would not have fit. So red gets blocked, Zari gets blocked, which probably is okay. She still gets an action, right? Yep, she takes her focus right here. Gets another shot off on Melorus to get the locks. For the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. Melorus is being bumped by the 4k and... Host rage. Interesting. Very interesting. This is a, a, a mistake in judgment here. By Bayan. He probably thought it would fit. Yeah. So, Bonrek into yellow. No mods. Oh, who needs mods if you just roll three natural hits? Into yellow. Yellow is the one that has been stripped of shields already. And will he spend? Probably not, I guess. He is taking two shots from the ties. Oh, yeah. Two and green. Two. Okay. And he cannot guarantee he is on one at this point. You will still get the shot off, uh, but it, this protects uh, Zari a bit. No, I don't know if you care about Zari that much at this point. Uh, Malorus has to reroll uh, for nothing. nothing. Has to take the strain. Did you see? Went into red, right? Yeah, went into red. Red takes. Ah, safe. I mean, this was a shot you don't care so much yeah. about. Yeah, I don't not know a high chance. It, but uh, Charlie seems to be. Trying to get rid of the ties first. Maybe uh, the thinking is that uh, the arcs are better here. They are in front anyways. And if you cannot remove the force multiplier, remove the force that's being multiplied. <laughs> so next shot, uh, hit crit. Rose strikes again. Crit. Uh, oh. Yellow has to spend, which is fine. Again, a four dice shot 
where uh, 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 four green dice evade a roll where you have to spend uh, the focus. I mean, in this case, it's not it's not uh, like 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 bad somehow because yellow does, doesn't have a shot anyway. Falls into one rig and only one spends it. I mean, why wouldn't you? you yeah. You add on. No. One rig. One rig barely makes it out there. Yeah. So we had some people counting on uh, my question what they would like to play, uh, what their favorite amount of shifts in the game is. So most of the... We have one, like Dash plus one. I really like Dash as well. Uh, Link saying, I've been flying Dash plus one for six years, so I think it might be my favorite. Then we have four ship list, four ship list, four ship scum, three aces, three to five yes. ships. Okay. Four Interesting. Ship. Toolbox lists, which are also one of my favorites. I like it a lot. Three aces, three aces, yeah. I mean, that's what we're seeing in the meta, right? Three to f three to five ships, mostly, uh, the, the f mostly four, and. Uh, I think it's the last shot from Charlie here. Three hits. Ooh, only one away again. Blue takes one in the card. It's half now. And this stream crashed for me. Are you still here? Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm experiencing some uh, problems at the moment. I might have to restart the stream. Okay. Don't know what's going on. It's like my 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 bitrate is like peaking high and low like a mother. Okay. <laughs> Buffering <exploring>. side father. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna restart the stream. Das wenn er wieder online ist. Ja, ich bin noch online. So, well, we can still can nice. commentate because I'm also recording the game. So, I'm restarting the stream now. Okay, very nice shot here from blue into yellow, which might even kill yellow in one shot. It's which is awesome shot efficiency. Uh, takes hit crit. I mean, crit doesn't matter. Uh, is dead. And now green, who unfortunately was bumped, can shoot into Zari and get some points here. Zari still has her second traces. So also a thing you might want to remove and gets rewarded for keeping on to the focus here. Reroll into three I I results, spend the focus, get three and Zari takes only one after the third evade dice. Slowly, slowly rolled around with the squiggles. All in all, I think it still went in favor of Jan here with the way it moved uh, at least this round went he took two damage three damage one on one rack two on blue which makes blue easily initiative killable right now um, but the positioning of blue next round is probably quite good and uh... he took out um, a E70, which takes a lot of firepower off the board. Mm -hmm. uh, when the stream is going to be live again, which will be in 40 seconds because of the stream delay, uh, we will give a short heads up to everyone. 
So let me check if I got it. Okay, so blue uh, TIEFO also got a damage card. And green has its shield. Okay. So let's see if I have anything right. So red is dead. Green is full. Yellow is full. Blue is taking a card. Melor is full. And Von Rick took a shield. Yellow died. Sorry, took a shield. Yeah. But that's about it. I mean, it was a lot of damage, which you would expect from such aggressive lists. Hey, mein Stream kackt die ganze Zeit voll ab. Ich weiß nicht, was los ist. Also, das ist auch gerade offline. Ja, müsste gleich wieder starten, aber ähm, kann ich, ich weiß nicht warum. Was ist denn mit meinem Internet los? Yep, yep. Mm. It seems to be back for me now and buffering again. Still buffering. Uh, this is so annoying. I don't know. My upload seems to be not high enough today. I don't know why. I only have 6.6 .6 Mbit upload. Maybe it's the weather affecting the electronics and the connections, uh, which is the thing. Yeah, my stream is dying like all the time. I'm really sorry. I don't know what to do, to be honest. Restart again, and I'm going to re I'm going to restart the router. There's a strain on on road. Jetzt habe ich null. Null Bitrate, ich habe keine... Achso, weil... Hä? Ach, weil er noch nicht gestartet hat. Dieses Stream Delay, ne? Das ist auch richtiger Abfuck, sag ich dir. Ja, Warum man das überhaupt machen muss, ist total Schwachsinn in meinen Augen. Weil sie competitive sein wollen. Ja, aber jetzt mal ehrlich. Unnötig, finde ich. Gabst du das jetzt sonst... Ich, auch ja, nicht? ich glaube, die Community... Für die Community wäre das fein. Oder mit der x wing Community ist das fein. Die wollen halt glaube ich, einfach sagen, okay, äh, wir gehen auf Nummer sicher und sagen, nehmen die Möglichkeit zu cheaten. Okay. So, we should be back. My little bitrate indicator is giving me a green signal, which is a good sign. Looks good. Okay, let's recap what happened here. Yeah, what happened? You want to do it or should I? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, we got a lot of dice flying all around. Uh, blue took two damage, one wreck took a stray shot, three damage and uh, one damage. Uh, where he nearly blanked out after being blocked. In return, Yellow got killed and Zari took one shield. So that's five damage for Delt for Jan and four damage received. No, three damage only received for him. So slight advantage here again with the shooting. 
and removing the big uh, ship and <laughs> trading one ship for one ship now uh, is also good for him with having the late game ace in one rack. Uh, then next round, one rack had red in bull's eye and uh, gave him a strain in the beginning of the round. Now uh, ships are starting to di diverge, trying to turn around in case of green here. Blue moving a bit off, out of the way, trying to disengage because there are only two, two hull left. And Zari trying to bump uh, Metaros again and maybe... And yeah, One Rack has mostly free reign here. Uh, the only shot coming into him probably will be Rose, but as we saw the round before, Rose dealt one shield to him. So now That's we have... Where we are now, Rose moving. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we have, uh, as you can see, Jan leading now 66 points versus 38 points on Charlie's side. I think uh, points are no indicator right now. Now everything is still like really oh. open, 20 minutes to go. Uh, and how, uh yeah how fast this game can switch around especially now now the the x-wings they have good shots now very good shots into uh the yellow and blue blue already on half takes a, a range one shot yellow still on full but no mods also will take a range one shot oh oh this is very nice. One wreck sliding in behind red. Oh, yeah, that red looks is, really neat. Red is full, but uh, I'm interested to see if he takes the strain here. I mean, there's still a r shot from Rose. Yeah. And Rose. so far, she has dealt out some 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 solid dice rolls here. Hit crit two times. Uh, takes the deplete or three dice uh, double modded uh, in red probably I mean you have no other shot with uh, with one wreck yeah oh. but he he might take the target lock somewhere else for a later round with uh, this uh, deplete he took and takes an evade wants to be safe okay balancing offensive and defense interesting Let's see how it works out. Mm -hmm. So. Only one hit. Yeah. Easily evaded here. No damage taken. Uh, I wouldn't say easily. On the second try. Yeah. <laughs> But Using heroic, reroid, two blanks into two evades, <laughs> as you are happy to do as a resistance player. Melrose going into. Did they just miss the Melrose trigger? I think they did, right? Mm, did you did you roll a a blank on offense? Yeah, he rolled. Uh... Blank, I hit, and Melorith, the new timing window is uh, basically, before you do anything else, you have to use Melorith. I know that until the end of the round, they are going to play with the old Melorith ruling, so the, the new one is not uh, active for this round of the XTC. Okay, so he had uh, dice that were already rerolled, so he couldn't reroll. Okay, then that's fine. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it on the Discord today. Uh, after uh, they had like the 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 new ruling from the H AMG forum. Yeah. So yellow epsilon squadron taking one shield and two into hull. So only one keeping him alive. Now two hits from. 
I don't know, but in, never mind no, because uh, Larry, Larry into into yellow, which took already took three from the shot green into yellow. Mm -hmm. And now red tries to finish off blue. blue. Yeah. Oh. And he four hits again, second time in a row, and oh. he so he dies. He barely dies. Yeah. No, he's he's alive. He, he had an evade, so he only takes one. Indeed. Yeah, he had the evade. Next level from Jan here. Yeah. Or oh, not even next level. It was like 10 levels more. <laughs> not taking the... The focus on green, three greens, which, which is the conventional wisdom, but taking the evade. Is Rose shot into again hit crit on, for Rose. That is the third time and, in the row. And blue pulls through. Yeah. But I mean, Rose is double modded, modded on every shot with the calculate and the rerolls, which makes her this impressive with uh, C3PO. She gets out in action and still gets double mods herself. Mm. This is the shot yellow, I think. Mm. Having no focus because of the red move and uh, green dodges. Mm. That's all the shots we have. No, no. Uh, green still can shoot. Range one into red. Yeah. Why? Or is he going into? Green, because green is at three hull left and red is still full. He's debating it. Yeah, green has no mods. The, yeah. Okay, so he is uh, playing the dice game. Three with a mod, a uh, two with a mod. I think the reroll has to go. Oh, is it not range two anymore? No, it's barely out. Okay. You would happily reroll here to take the strain. Yeah. Because you're doing a blue move anyways. Okay. I think blue is pulling a one heart to the left here, to pilot left. Uh, blue is... Probably two banking as is yellow. One rack will try to stay behind red, I think, and pressure this way. And Melorus will maybe finally get an action. We will see. <laughs> Would be the first time since, I don't know, three rounds? Two rounds? Since shooting... No, since four. Since this... he bumped him in, into a tie on the second round and hasn't get, gotten an action since, so yeah. So this still game is still really, really, really close. Uh, 66 to 51. Um, ships like tangled up here on the left side of the board. Uh, and we can easily see points flowing in both directions with green on three how yellow and blue both on one how There are a lot of points to be gained here. Yeah. Interesting comment in the chat here. Uh, I love how resistance beef versus Melorus works out the exact same way as T765 uh, where this Thailand works out. The X-Wings can never <laughs> quite punch hard enough to kill the ties, and they just chip damage back into the X-Wings. 
over it's time. Like, eh? It's like neither faction learned anything from from their predecessor. <laughs> Night is in the end. Yeah. Well done. Well done, my friend. I mean, it is like this. It is uh, slightly lower numbers, but higher tech level and. Yellow disengaging here. Uh, doesn't want to get killed here. Green is the one who still can deal some damage. Can go. Can be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, yellow and blue just taking evades. Making sure they are not getting killed. And also staying in, in the way a bit. Mm hmm. Okay. The bump on Rose, very important here, so yeah. that green uh, or red cannot reposition. Yeah, no coordinating. Into uh, a good move. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this got you the bump here. The the bump uh, on Rose got you the bump on Red, which uh, will allow Bonrek probably to lay into him. Very nice. Uh, did did red bump because I don't see like oh they, yeah, it's red, already red gone yeah yes. see it in the chat mm -hmm. and he uh, put in a talon and Sorry, all the resistance ships oh. bumping here Oof. this is very in favor of Jan here yeah but Malarus oh if Malarus could have a nice if, shot on Rose here maybe if Malarus now uh, has has Good move dialed in. Um, uh, Zari is turning around to threaten Von Rack and or Blue. Oh, and Merrick staying. Unfortunate, unfortunate. And Melora stops. Okay. And Von Rack now. Maybe trying to get in for the kill. Oh no, red is the one that's still red, untouched. Red is yeah. the one that's full, but is still threatened by Dari here. Dari turned her arc even after bumping. Yeah, and you cannot barrel roll out of Zari's arc, I think. Yeah, but you can get an extra arc. Yeah, I was thinking about if you could barrel roll out uh, to the left, but no, that would not be far enough. At least get some distance. Uh, get the evade. Try to make sure that you uh, won't get too much damage here. The dice have to level out. Uh, you are expected to deal one damage here. No mods versus no mods. And let's, let's see. Okay, cheat count one <laughs> over here, and oh, best result. Here oh, at least. At okay. least he takes it, so... It takes the one expected damage here, which is nice. Uh, Maroris can get into green, set him up for a kill. Maybe... not quite. No. Just one probably is fine, yeah. I mean, with heroic... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could, yeah. could roll blank focus, double focus. But chances were good that that he was going to evade that shot, which he did. So Rose, will we see another hit crit from Rose? We will. I mean, that would be the fourth there time. Ever any doubt? <laughs> no, no, just two hits. Only, only two hits. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, oh, oh, no, <laughs> no. That's on two. One wreck. This is on wreck. wreck. Okay, he's got an evade. Uh, he's yeah, got an evade. Getting shot by. Yeah. By, uh, sorry now. A rose with solid reds. Sorry, only one. So by average, this should be doable for Vonrek, but the dice giveth. 
and the dice stays. And this time they not take it away. <sighs> but if one rack flipped here, the points would flip and then with the time remaining it will be very hard. Yeah, with only a little bit over five minutes to go. So uh, both players have to decide their uh, dials for next turn really, really careful, depending on what the FOs can do. Oh, and we have one more damage onto green. There's nothing for the points, but awesome. still. It's, that's awesome. There's one more to go. Let's put some in, into kill range from one or two of these two dice guns. Uh, interesting of note is that all of the resistance ships except Rose is stressed here. That means both remaining T-70s because they both tried to pull Red Moon Rubas and Zari because she uh, did her double action. Mm -hmm. Uh, not that bad for Zari, but for the X-Wings who try to chase the points on yellow and blue here. This uh, can be very interesting. Because there uh, are now a lot of action uh, options for the ties, but not so many for the X-Wings. You have the one and two straight and one and two banks that are blue. And if red doesn't get a blue maneuver, he also keeps the deplete given to him by one wreck the turn before. Oh, we got a, I just got an update from Twitch chat. Thanks everyone. Uh, in the Separatist versus uh, Imperial game, South Africa versus Germany, uh, 147 to nil uh, at the moment with uh, the last round being played in favor of South Africa. So probably GG here. Uh, the equalizer for South Africa, two and two. So this game here, Right now, Jan versus Charlie is going to decide who is going to take the lead in the round three, Germany versus South Africa. Jan going for the conservation of points. Uh, keep with yellow and blue, making moves that get the least shots. Good bump here. Uh, one shot of Zari into yellow, two and three, and one shot of rose into blue, I think. Uh, let's see what Vonrek does, if if he can threaten... Hard one, probably. Rose. Yeah, I would expect hard one, barrel roll to get the shot on rose, threaten her. Uh, and Melrose... Yeah, none of the ties except blue have a shot. And if one wreck can bait Rose into shooting him here. Oh, oh, is is this? Ah, oh, no, this has no arc. No. Melrose, well, I think, doesn't have an arc into Rose here. Ay, ay, ay. No, I don't, I don't think so. Meller is going for the lock. Okay, they are both trying to get another round in here with one minute and 20 seconds remaining. Oh, good shot from Von Rick here. <sighs> double evades again. Last time it was green. Rolling double evades. Now red rolling double evades. I mean, this shot probably doesn't matter anyway. Even if something would have gone through. If they get another round, it would matter. Because if. Because half points on red. Yeah. Oh, Zari, only one. 
very good. That means yellow is safe for this this round. Doesn't even have to spend the evade. Now Rose onto Von Rack. Can, Can he get half points on Von Rack? Oh! Rose, this time with... With hit crit uh, again. Hit crit again. Okay. <laughs> He needs one evade. Yeah. Spends the evade. Gets Very it. Nice. Is safe here. If now blue into maybe even green. Oh. Green is at range. Yeah, and you green. have maybe a shot with your green type O onto green X Wing. Um, I don't think so, but I mean, you have to ride the dice. Malorus. Malorus reroll. If. No, the clock is up. The clock is up. That means... Yeah, time is it. For hit crit. Germany wins. Very nice. But uh, there is still points going on here. Yeah. And... Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what? What happened? Why, why was the eye converted? No. So, wow. one, two, That's... three, four. Green is dead, right? Yeah. Green is off the board. Uh, green tie ha doesn't have a shot. Uh, so, That's very close here. Time is up. Uh, good job, Jan, pulling this one out. It was a very close one. Oh, yeah. The end. That was an absolute nail biter. Some... Razor's Edge decisions here. Yeah. So, so yeah, congratulations to Jan. Played exceptionally well. And uh, so now it's 3 to 2. Germany versus South Africa. And uh, thank you for watching.